there comes a point, at least this is my experience, when there is a blurring of the that which differentiates Patrick Stewart from whoever I'm pretending to be. Why are we here? No one should live like this. Drugs in a fucking tank. For your own good. No, no, it's not. You're waiting for me to die. The thrill, thrill with the Wolverine X-Men franchise was that I had been one kind of person for 15 years. Charles Xavier, he created the X-Men, he created the school for gifted children where all of the, the young mutants are assembled to, be, to have their special talents finely honed. And then along comes Logan and everything has changed. And this calm, compassionate, caring, intellectual, sensitive individual, Charles Xavier, becomes an unreliable, scatterbrained, very confused, very weak and extremely dangerous individual. And violent both in his language and his behavior. This is not the man we've seen for, for six movies prior to that. So, of course, that kind of situation is irresistible to most actors, I think, when you, you, you can blow something up and say, what if everything that could go wrong for this man did go wrong? What kind of person would he become? And luckily, James Mangold, the director of Logan, had a very clear sense of what kind of person Charles Xavier would be. And we, we went for it wholeheartedly. It was very entertaining, I mean, to do. I didn't know it was going to be a send-off. I, I knew that Hugh had gone on record before we began shooting the movie that this would be his last time as Wolverine. And yes, you know, 17 years, and I think he's done nine movies playing that character. And he's a, an actor with a great range and a great deal of stage background. He's a wonderful singer and dancer. I, on the other hand, just took it as another and although much more diverting part of the franchise until we had made the movie, wrapped, I'd seen it in a screening, and then Hugh and I were sitting side by side at the Berlin Film Festival where it had its world premiere. And I found myself, from two thirds of the way into the movie, becoming increasingly emotionally involved with the story. And this got, feeling got stronger and stronger, then my character died, it was all over with Charles Xavier, and, and I, I found the emotion of what was happening to Hugh's character, to Logan, as well as to the little girl, very intense. And I was relieved in one moment to suddenly notice that Hugh, sitting on my left, <laughs> wiped his eye. And I thought, well, damn it. If Hugh Jackman can cry watching Logan, then I can let the feelings out too. And then the next thing that happened was that Hugh reached over and took my hand. And so we sat watching the last five minutes of the movie, holding hands, giving one another comfort and support. And it was while sitting there, feeling very good about what I'd just seen and still quite emotional, that I realized there would probably never be a better way of saying, Au revoir, Charles Xavier, than this one. And so the next morning at a press conference, I said I was, I was joining Hugh in my determination that this would be the last Charles Xavier I would play. Away. Logan, you still have time. 